Welcome to the Bike Matters 10 of the Best Retro Scooters for 2020. So you're looking at getting a retro scooter, well great news as you're at the right place. Here's my top 10 best retro scooters for 2020. At number 10 is the Nico Azuro, a scooter that has been on the scene for nearly a decade now. Available with a 50cc or 125cc engine and a few different colorway options, the Azuro gives those the chance of owning an Italian style scooter at a very affordable price. There's no hiding that the Azura has taken inspiration from modern day Vespa with its design, but who can blame them? At this price point, you can't expect too much of power, but Nico's offering will still reach around 55 miles per hour from the 125cc air-cooled engine. Weighing in at just 95 kilograms means this is one light scooter. The Nico Azura 125 can be yours from 1,469 pounds. In at nine we have the Honda Super Cub. Okay, so you might not be expecting to see the Super Cub hit this list for a couple of reasons. One, most people think Italian for retro style scooters. And two, well, admittedly the Cub does have gears. But I'm pushing these aside and throwing the iconic Cub into the list for 2020. The Cub is a much loved Japanese bike that stood the test of time and proved just how good Honda's reliability is. Known for being a true workhorse, speak about the Cub and you will find most people would have owned one or knew someone that did. Honda have produced well over 100 million Super Cubs by the end of 2017, so there should be quite a few kicking about in the news market as well, and you definitely shouldn't be struggling for parts. The most modern version is a right mix of traditional Cub meets modern day, so it's quite the Marmite bike. I think a lot of people will just love it because it is a new Super Cub. With a decent seat height of 780mm and reigning at 109kg, this is the ideal bike for beginners as well. The Honda Super Cub can be yours from £3,399. In at number 8 we have the hugely popular Vespa GTS. Full on modern day Vespa yet still with those rather typical lines that stay true to the brand, we have the Taurus Choice, the GTS. 2019 saw Vespa Piaggio bring out the 300 HPE, the most powerful GTS to date, giving the popular GTS series even more grunt. There's also 125 available though, so a nice learner friendly option as well. The GTS has it all, comfort, tech and performance to really allow you the freedom of doing whatever you like. We all know the GTS is perfect around town, but with that 278cc engine variant, it allows for long distances too. You'll see plenty of scooters using these for scooter rallies and tours around Europe, and indication of just how capable this small scooter is. The Vespa GTS 125 can be yours from £4,499. At number seven we have the Peugeot Django. Peugeot have stayed true to the heritage with the styling of the Django. The Django is a unique look on this list and to be honest, I quite like it. With a mix of modern design with classic aspects of the legendary Peugeot S55 thrown in, we have ourselves the Django. With a variety of engine sizes, including 50cc, 125cc and 150cc, and colorway styles available, there's a big choice if you're interested in getting a Django. Whether you're after a modern and sporty style machine or a vintage looking two-tone beauty, Peugeot really do have you covered with their options. Django have been around for a while now and continue to be a popular choice for many in the UK. Thanks to its unique styling with plenty of modern influence, the Django really has put itself in the shop window for people not tied into brands. It's for people who just want that something different. The Peugeot Django 125 ABS can be yours from £3,199. At number six we have the AGS Moderna and Lexmoto Milano. Okay, so we have a shared spot, and that's basically because these two scooters are the same, barring in Porsche, colour options, badges and decals. The cheap and cheerful Moderna and Milano are great fun scooters and offer an entry level option into retro scooters. Being cheap does come with its own compromises, so the air-cooled engine only produces 7 horsepower. 
Don't let this put you off though, because if you're on a budget and want some retro action, the Modena and Milanos are great fun little scooters with plenty of charm. Both the AJS Modena and Lexmo and Milano have a great following on Facebook and other social media pages, so if you're interested, make sure to check out those owner clubs. The AJS Modena 125 can be yours from £1,659. Thanks to Lexham Insurance, we can offer Bike Matters viewers in the UK a £20 discount on a scooter or motorcycle insurance quote. If you click the top right hand corner now, you'll be linked straight through to Lexham's website and have a £20 discount automatically applied to your scooter or motorcycle insurance quotation. Terms and conditions apply. In at number five we have the Royal Alloy GT. The GT is the entry level Royal Alloy currently available in the market. The one we are looking at is the cheapest version, the air-cooled variant. Producing 9.5 brake horsepower, the GT125 AC has bang on average performance for a retro 125cc scooter. It's not the slowest, but it's not the fastest. Typically there are plenty of colourway options available, even a bit of two-tone if that tickles your fancy. The GT is clearly a scooter sticking to the designs of old school Lambrettas, so the GT could be a solid option if you're a big fan of Lammies but wanting the performance of a modern day twist and go scooter. If you're wanting a metal bodied option though, there are more premium options available to you. The Royal Alloy GT 125cc starts from £2,799. At number four we have the Lambretta V Special. Okay, so let's say the obvious first, and that is the Lambretta V Special is based on the Simfiddle 3, just slightly restyled and with a different price tag to match the Lambretta badge. There are purists who will dislike the new Lambrettas. One, because of how it looks, it's not a pure looking Lambretta, and two, because the new Lambrettas are not Innocentes. Give the V Special a chance though, it's still a great looking scooter, Yes, it may lack some of the typical Lambretta styling you'll see with the likes of Schematti and Royal Alloy, but it is a nice mix of vintage and modern. Engine-wise, you can get a V-Special with a 50cc, 125cc and 200cc motor. It's also good to see they've included metal panels as well to keep that Lamy tradition going. The Lambretta V-Special 125cc can be yours from £2,974. In at number three is the stunning Royal Alloy TG. Okay, so this spot was originally reserved for the GP Royal Alloy series. However, after fresh news that the Tegera Grande is being released in spring 2020, I felt obliged to update it to Royal Alloy's new flagship range. The liquid cool TG is a stunning looking machine and is clearly more inspired by the TV175 Series 2 from Lambretta. Not only is it packing a more powerful liquid cool motor when compared to the GT, it's also sporting metal bodywork too. It is worth mentioning here that the middle of the range GP does sport metal bodywork and an optional liquid cool motor as well. The TG will be available with a 125cc and also a long awaited 300cc motor which is fantastic news. We've been waiting for the 300cc to hit the GP range for some time, so it's awesome that it looks likely to be available in both models. Notably, the TG will have the king and queen seat from the GP series, and will have a full colour TFT speedometer. At number two we have the Scamadi Turismo Technica. Scamadi stay true to that incredibly popular Lambretta style, but are always keen to keep developing. The Turismo Technica is a stunning looking machine and really pays tribute to the glory days of Lambretta under the Innocenti banner. With that sleek steel and ABS bodywork, the Turismo Technica from a distance could easily be fooled for a genuine vintage scooter. Look closely though and you'll see the Scamadi is packed with decent spec, such as LED lights, double hydraulic adjustable shocks at the front and electric start. The only problem here is availability of models during early 2020 as a new factory gets kicking. The Scamadi Turismo Technica 125cc can be yours from £3,295. And finally, taking the number one spot of the Retro Scooters 2020 list is 
the Vespa Primavera. The staple and backbone of the retro style scooter market has to be Vespa. The Italian manufacturer has been a part of the scene from the early days post World War II. The Primavera is definitely a mix of modern and classic while keeping those simple yet stunning Vespa lines. With models available with a new, highly economical 50cc or 125cc engines, the Primavera is a premium scooter in this range, but continues to be a highly popular commuter choice for many some 50 years after its debut. The Vespa Primavera 125cc can be yours from £3,999. So there you have it, 10 of the best retro scooters available to buy new in the UK during 2020. I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have please give it a thumbs up. Also let us know what your number one pick would be in the comments section below. If you'd like to see more videos on retro scooters then make sure to check out my review on the AGS Moderna and also the Vespa GTS Supertech HPE. Hit that subscribe button and while you're there hit that bell notification so you're notified of all of our future content. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.